All right, it has been ages since I did a video review, and now I have a new camera. It's about time I tried it out. So I'm going to look at a figure I've had on my shelf for several weeks, but only just got around to opening. The Play Arts Kai Harley Quinn, based on the Arkham City design. I love this costume. It's so fantastic. It's my favorite Harley Quinn costume that's not the original. I guess the one from Arkham Asylum is also really good. Um, box, quick, really boring on the sides and the top and the sides. The back has some stuff on it. Um, it barely shows the accessories. You can kind of see the bat there. You can kind of see she comes with a gun there. Oh, two. It does not demonstrate the posability of the figure. It's kind of a terrible box as far as selling it, in my opinion, because I'm such a box connoisseur. Um, that picture is really good. It's got a flip opening, Velcro shut opening, and since I've already removed her, this is going to be really boring because you can normally see the figure in there. And I guess there's a little bio in here that I've never read before. Self-proclaimed girlfriend. I like that. So, on to the figure. Alright, after opening it, here is the figure. Play Arts Kai Harley Quinn. Um, I really like this costume. I like the alternating red and black. That pays homage to the original design of the animated series. Um, the, the diamond motif on the, her thighs and on the backs of her hands. There we go. Um, the paintwork is really good. The, the sculpting is really good. There's different kinds of textures in the material. Her pants are smoother here. There's a you know, different texture in the different edges, details. The, the boots are different than the pants. The corset, her shirt, and her bra, they're all different. Uh, they have different textures Im implying that they're all different kinds of material. Uh, the knees, the texturing goes down onto the knees, even a lot of the back of the knees, not the actual hinge most pieces of it, but not so much on the, the hip, the rather the whatever's down here, ankles, wrists, or elbows, but the sculpting is really good. The detail's really nice on it. Um, zoom in a little bit. Ooh, fancy. I like the the paint is 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 uh, really good. I haven't noticed any uh, slop or or mess. Um, if if you notice the tattoos, the lines are all crisp and clean, and you can tell that that's some red and black roses with dice and playing cards. And I'll do a close up on those in a minute anyway. Um, the skin has a different finish to it than, than the outfit. It's not as, not quite as shiny. It looks a little bit more like skin. Uh, top top notch, high quality work here on the sculpting, and the paintwork of the figure. And I guess I can compare it to the previous Harley Quinn, um, the Arkham City one. I do have to say I like the paint on the chest of the Arkham Asylum version better. It, this one does have a little bit of a glossy look to it that the Arkham Asylum version doesn't have. So it looks slightly more real. But then the glossiness on the outfit, on her shirt, I don't think works as much. But anyway, they're both really, really good. And maybe I'll do a review of her sometime. So on to something else. Let's cut away. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's going to focus now. Let's look at her tattoos again, or the detail again a little bit, since it seemed to like it if I put it in close-up mode beforehand. So there is her arm tattoo. There's the Harley Quinn card. Um, I can't quite tell if the glare... 
is there where I think it is. Oh, there's the Joker card. All right. Yeah, there we go. Another one in her hip. Um, the sculpting is nice. The paintwork is nice. Okay, enough of that. All right, let's talk about posability. This figure is nicely posable, <clears throat> but uh, I'll just go ahead and say now it's not as posable as, say, the figure arts that I'm used to dealing with mostly right now. Uh, but it is good. Let's start with uh, her head. I think it's on a double barbell joint of some kind in there. It's got good tilting range to it. These can swivel, so I guess you could have her being in a wind tunnel or jumping through the air and they don't just have to hang unnaturally down. She's got, so the head articulation is really good. It's not particularly hindered in any meaningful way. I guess because of the way the hair Sculpt on the back. She can't look up a ton or much at all, but good enough. She's got um, a joint there. Torso, lower torso kind of swivels. Shoulders have a weird hinge that goes forward. And then a disc in this. I don't know if you can see it. But the joint, the disc, uh, the shoulder is not open much back here, so the, the arms can't raise up all the way. I guess if you were talented and clever or careful, you could slice that open a little bit more to get more range out of her shoulders that way. But they do most everything I, I need them to. Uh, she's got a single elbow joint, and then it runs into her arm wrist is a nice ball jointed wrist that does everything you need it to um her legs her hips are go out to the side about that much forward and back a good amount her crotch and butt are a weird kind of it's a it's a rubber a soft rubber thing which is kind of strange and on uh, one of the figures I have, it's way too large and looks weird, but on hers, it's it's pretty good. It's It looks like it's the right size. It's soft and lets you move it around if you need to. It, it yields. Uh, sometimes the inside cut of this leg will catch on it and start eating it like that, which certainly looks weird and messes with posability. She's got great range in her knees because they're those player sky knees that everybody complains about but I'm really okay with most of the time. Yes, they can look weird, but I like that she can do this in a convincing way. Yeah, if I get the balance right. But. And of course you can't see that, so I like the knees. I think the knees are very functional and that's great. The feet are, they seem like they should be great because they've got a ball joint, they can swivel all around it in multiple ways. But I have found that maybe it's just me, I am not able to get this thing to stand up a lot of the time. I just, they, they have movement in theory, but I find that I cannot find the positions where she will balance very easily. It always takes a lot of messing with and finagling to get it to get her to stand up. And then, if I wanted her to pose with an accessory, of course I, I get her standing without it, and then I go and put the bat in her hands, and sometimes it throws off the balance just enough to make her fall over. See? Just like that. Um, of all of these Play Arts Kai females I have, which are one, two, three, four, five, five, I guess. 
the two Catwomans, both the Dark Knight Rises and um, the Arkham City one, I find they have the best legs and feet. The rest of them all kind of feel like uh, they've got clickiness in them. They've got they, it just feels like it's often not quite in the right spot, and I don't I don't get it. Um, so that is my biggest complaint. My next biggest complaint is the elbow. I wish it was a double elbow. It doesn't matter a whole lot, and most of the time, but every once in a while, I find I really wish she had more range out of it. Come on, stand up. So that here, that uh, standing, biggest drawback of this figure. And that's the articulation. It's good. It's really good. Far better than any other DC line I have. Um, way better than the DC Direct or DC UC figures. And that's that. All right, here we have Play Arts Kai, Play Arts Kai, Harley Quinn on the left, and the DC Direct Arkham City Harley, Harley Quinn on the right. Um, aside from the obvious scale differences, she's more matte, she's more glossy, she's really, really stacked, and this one is more normal size. This one, I really, really liked, like, the Arkham Asylum Harley Quinn that DC Direct did. She's really attractive looking, as far as you can tell underneath that makeup and mask, but this is clearly not the same person was not sculpted by the same person, or maybe the video game design is not the same. I don't know. I actually haven't played these games, despite being a huge fan of Harley Quinn and Batman and owning both of them. Um, I like her face better. It's still not the prettiest face, but it's decent. Uh, this, of course, has almost no articulation, and what articulation it has makes it look stiff and awkward in most poses. I do like that she has a real metal chain, and this one doesn't. But uh, for the sheer play value, definitely the Play Art Sky wins between the extra hands and the guns and the bat. Her bat is also better. This one is kind of plain. It looks like a wooden bat. It's got some um, weathering, I guess you could say, on the 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 paint. But I love how this one is dented up and. Clearly, it's been used to beat things or people before, and I really like that. So, don't bother with this one, in my opinion. It's good, but anyway, not as good. Cut out too soon. Let's do another comparison with uh, the DC Direct figure. Um... I did have the DC UC figure for a little bit, but I did not like how it looked, and I don't think I ever opened it and I sold it. Um, I found it to be even uglier than this one, which just has a weird face. Anyway, um, you can see the difference in the detail on the tattoo. The DC Direct is alright. It's pretty good for its size, but it's, it's nothing compared to, to this one. So now let's talk about size. That's always a good talking point with Play Arts Kai. What can you display them with? So I have a bunch of stuff here, various things in my collection. Let's see what Play Arts Kai Harley can be displayed with. DCUC. Not quite a compatible scale. Um, should be obvious now, but let's try DC Direct. Not, not so much. Um, what else have I got a lot of? Ooh, I've got a lot of figure arts. Not really gonna work. New Star Wars 6 inch line. These are all roughly 6 inch figures, more or less. So, clearly, that's not gonna work either. 
How about uh, NECA? Their predator figures are bigger than six inches, right? Not, not enough. Hmm. Gundam Master Grades. Those are bigger figures, right? Not, not gonna work. Um. Hardbone. Not, well, not really. Uh, what other Transformers have I got recently? How about um, Mastermind Creations Leo Ducks? That's a big figure. Hmm. Doesn't look quite so big next to Play Arts Guy Harley. Wow, what bigger figures do I have? How about Masterpiece Optimus Prime? There we go. This is probably the single tallest figure I have. I guess you could say she displays okay next to him. I don't know. So clearly, Play Arts Kai is a line best displayed with itself. Um, what have I got here? Here is the previous Harley Quinn, the Arkham Asylum design. And they look pretty good. The one is slightly taller, which makes sense because her boots are much taller. Um, some other Arkham City figures. We got Harley, I mean Ivy. Catwoman. Clearly I do not know how to center things in my light box. And the other recent Play Arts Kai female figure I have. Uh, Dark Knight Rises. That Catwoman. Mm. These girls are all about the same size. I would say they're in scale with each other. I like it. They all work together really well. Oh, I just thought of one more. I'll be right back. And as soon as I picked her up, I knew she's not going to work with these figures, but. Here we have Play Arts Kai DC Variants Wonder Woman. Let's see if I can get her to stand up. She is just a little bit bigger than the Arkham, the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City figures. Um, I didn't realize that. I hadn't had them displayed next to each other before. Um, what else to say about Play Arts Kai Harley Quinn? All of these girls are physically ideal, but it should be pretty apparent that somewhat uncharacteristically, in my knowledge, Harley Quinn appears to be a little bit, um, a little bit, um, more so than the others. Why isn't it focus? I mean, the Dark Knight Rises Catwoman looks pretty standard. I mean, I guess she's still kind of big, but she's not hugely overproportioned. Over Even uh, the Arkham City Catwoman isn't massively huge, but Harley Quinn is a little bit impressive in the chest area which may or may not work for you she's anyway um, okay I found two more things to compare it with size wise I've got recently opened the Amikami um, Steampunk Batgirl. And she's bigger. Taller. And this further illustrates what hopefully I talked about. That her feet are just slightly frustrating. And I cannot... I have... Terrible at getting her stand. Anyway, clearly it doesn't work. Um, and then this is actually the tallest figure I have. 
I lied about it being Optimus. And he really doesn't fit easily into my light box. So I guess you could display the Play Arts Kai with your Masterworks Sentinel if you wanted to do that. Hopefully I'm not just horribly mangling this video by... Since I don't know what I'm doing, I'm filming with a new camera. Why don't you stand up? There we go, magic. Okay. Slow to zoom in, nice and smooth. Uh, all right, let's talk accessories. Play Arts Kai Harley Quinn comes with two pair, two pairs of hands, two uh, machine guns. Or are they Uzis? And this awesome baseball bat with. Just great denting. It looks like it's aluminum and it's been used to beat people. Um, the hands, she's got um, two with the trigger finger sort of extended for holding the aforementioned doozies. They go on pretty easily and they're nice and snug. They, the gun doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. They swap very easily. You just slide it off. There's no mushroom cap. There's no really click. It just slides in and out, but it's a nice, um, it's got good friction to it. <sighs> These feet. I should probably just give up and get the stand out, but I'm not going to. Because I need it for the next. This hand is um, a little bit more closed than is the right hand. I guess she swings left-handed. This hand is open more for holding the bat up here, which I can't do one-handed. Okay, she also comes with a stand that you have to put together. Base, arm bits, three screws, And when you put it together, you end up with this. And I haven't really played around with this much yet to know how well it works. It's got a big clip, which depending on how much you tighten the screw, and I tightened that one too much. Or it's got a smaller clip. Um, this is my first experience with these stands, and I don't know if I did everything right. This connection is very loose, and I don't like that. It means if I wanted to have her posed up here, jumping or something, it may not actually hold her. It will just slide around. This thing is weird in that you snap it, you remove it and plug it back on where you want it. I, I don't understand that. does have a little elbow joint there. I guess it's alright of a stand, it's just um, I'm really used to Tamashii stages by Bandai and of course this is far too big of a figure for even an Act 5 probably. The uh... I don't know, I should have got one out. The Cloth Myth EX stages might work They're for bigger figures. That ended up exactly where it was before. The 1100 scale um, Gundam stages might work, but I didn't bother to get any of those out, so we'll never know. This is the one she comes with, so this is one we'll try out. Let's see? Uh, hmm. I would like to have her be hanging out sideways, and the stand is not going to cooperate. Oh, there we go. She 
She's all Trinity in the Matrix or something. So, yeah, the stand is not the best stand I've ever used. But I suppose it'll work. I don't know how well it would do with a bigger figure. Um, for example, Harley Quinn is, is tall, but she's still pretty uh, thin. The Batman from the Arkham Asylum line, which I don't have anymore because I didn't really care for it much, is huge. It's like three times the plastic that she is. Here's the Christian Bale Batman. I don't think that stand has a chance of holding him up. He weighs at least as twice as much as she does. Also, I really like that the Dark Knight Rises and the Arkham City lines are pretty close in size. I wish the DC variant line was closer in their scale, but whatever. Alright, I've rambled on long enough. I dig this figure because I dig the costume, I like the posability, except for the the issues I talked about earlier, and that are apparent every time I try and do something with it. Um, it looks thin, we'll just do it that way. So I recommend her if you can even still get her for a good price, I don't know. But I like her. Focus. I'm not coming anywhere in focus for a second. Well, this has been a learning experience that I'm not sure is working. I wasn't actually trying to zoom in quite on that. Just wanted to end it on a clear shot. Okay, anyway, good enough. Thanks.